Check this out. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> Now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! I do not know which course to take. My conscience tells me I must speak out against Mary, but it weighs heavy on my heart to do so. You've got to tell the judge everything. That girl is evil. Everyone needs to know it. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little not Hall. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary confessed to me all her accusations were false. She did not see what she claimed. There was no witchcraft. There were no familiars, no devils. All were just the imaginings of a child's mind. You understand the gravity of your testimony. Yes, George, I do. Very well. You may step down. Mary is to remain with me. Given your testimony, I feel the child must go elsewhere. The Reverend Carver will be Mary's new charge by order of the court. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? Yeah, we saw him. He told the judge that Mary made it all up. None of what she said was true. Okay, so now what? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? You agree with him? Looks like Daniel isn't convinced. Normally, I'd agree with you, but we can see these events. Somehow they're running parallel to us, so I think we can change them. What the f-
fuck. We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. the story here. She leave him for some other guy? You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here. Now. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Hey, are you okay down there?
It's over. He's gone. That thing looks to have gone, but it could come back any time. We have to keep moving. I've seen this before. In the fog there. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Tell me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll tell as you face you in madness. Roy, you by saints, servants. We have to stop this. See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little Orf rests in your hands. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. John, get away from it! I'm done running! Time for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Are you crazy? We gotta move! Come on, you! 
you fucking ready? Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. You're gonna wanna see this. This is for real? Angela and I were married.
What's that noise? My guess is the girl. We need to find her. <laughs> She's in here. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. Trust me. This isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tin child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Andrew, these people have lost their minds. This is collective hysteria, paranoia. We've got to intervene. Stop this somehow. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the devil's Wait. help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. He's right. Mary's behind all this. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, I condemn an innocent to die. Kid has to pay the price for all the crap she's pulled. Let the court decide what's best for her. Traitor! Go and leave me be! Abraham, ignore his words. He's no friend to us. She pleads with her evil spirits. What more evidence of guilt does the court require? The sentence I must pass is for the good of the town and all who live here. There is no other way to rid us of the evil you have brought. Mary, you will be taken from this court and burned at the stake as a heretic and witch. This is how you care for me. You are no different to any of the others. The sentence to be carried out immediately. We cannot risk further attempts from the devil to rescue his disciple. Damnation awaits you, sister of Satan. You will roast the fires of hell.
The little devil was burned as a witch. And boy, did she have that coming. I'm not sure about that. I could have just made things a whole lot worse. It's over. We can leave. I thought I might find you here. <laughs> Bumping through the trenches, huh? Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner and got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more.
stall traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. Motherfucker, you! You take a goddamn shot at me! Quit hiding in there! Hey, cool it! I was... I was trying to help. Didn't you see that thing? What are you talking about? Ain't nothing out here. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him, the bus driver, but lost him again, forever. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time.